Hi guys and welcome to my review of the Keyfine Delchi. This is uh, the latest uh, IEM from Keyfine. Uh, well, in reality, the second IEM from uh, from Keyfine. The first one was the Cleaner, a uh, planar um, IEM, um, which actually you can you can right now pick it up from HiFi Go if you are uh, you know in in the market for uh, for a planar driver which has uh, let's say a, a more warmer tonality to the associated with its sound. Um, you cannot pick it up uh, for around eighty-five dollars, give or take, which is actually pretty pretty good price. Um, you know, considering uh, the build quality, the the, the, the accessories that, that I am bringing, everything. So it's it's worthwhile looking at it. Anyway, but that's not what we were talking about here. We're talking about is the Delchi, which is their uh, single DD. Uh, it uses a combination DLC uh, polyurethane diaphragm. Uh, and and very much the the philosophy used in the cleaner in terms of its appearance, its its uh, its uh, its style of of uh, of uh, you know uh, the build uh, the, the the everything is being kind of uh, just carried through from from the cleaner. Uh, just uh, just a, an interesting uh, detail about the actual name Keyfine. Um, the, the the name uh, got its origin from actually Refine. So instead of having a K and R, and the, the philosophy of of Keyfine is to offer refined products. But they you know just change the letter there. But that, this is actually uh, you know um, a, a little bit of information that I got from speaking with them uh, on on what is their um, let's say. Their company uh, motto, their 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 philosophy, their drive. Uh, this is the box again, very simple, just like like on the on the cleaner, very very basic. They don't they don't spend unnecessary money in in things which really are, are not necessary. Although of course, when we are talking about a more expensive product, the, the unboxing experience is always a, 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 a something which is worthwhile or, or, or welcomed. Uh, the IMs came over there, over here came a case, uh, and that's it. Very simple, little user manual and warranty card. Let me just put this out of the way. In the back, some uh, some details pertaining to the actual driver. It's a 20 ohm, 28 ohm uh, impedance driver, uh, it's 10 millimeter, like I mentioned before. Well, if I didn't, I mention it now. Um, and they st uh, state it's got a 108 decibels of sensitivity. Um, I did find that it uh, did require a little bit more power than some other uh, similarly priced or um, IEMs, but anyway, that, that's that's just a not even a nitpick. It's just an observation. And the case, as I was mentioning, is this case here. Okay, nice little detail here of the actual name on on the on the on the on the tab that you pull to open the zipper. Uh, a nice selection of tips, both wide bore and narrow bore. I'm actually using these tips. I momentarily tried my KB Euro sevens or BGBPs. Uh, and, and came to the conclusion that the performance I was getting from the stock tips uh, compared to those ones was was uh, exactly the same, so it was pointless. So kudos to them for actually giving tips which work nicely with the IM, at least with my ears. I don't think um, you know a lot of you will find any problem. As for the IM itself, like I said, nice metal construction, you know, there you go. Nice metal construction. It fits nicely. Um, it, it's it's a very it's, it's a nice classy approach to to design. Nothing over the top. You know that's it. The cable again, nice cable. Um, Three point five termination. Uh, but the actual cable it's actually quite nice. It's got like a two color copper winding. Uh, you could you can say um, and measured fine. So again, I, I didn't see any need to. Change it out or, or anything of the sort. Although I did momentarily just try it out with a, with another cable just to see. One thing that I did appreciate was the fact that they actually put a cable which sits nice and flush with the actual IEM, which sometimes is not the case. You see some brands supplying cables which the the, the, the fit of the actual plug onto the IEM is not the most perfect fit. Um, as I mentioned, this is an IEM that's priced at around fifty nine dollars. So at fifty nine dollars, obviously, it's got a lot of stiff competition. I uh, basically just brought out what I believe are the IEMs that are priced at, let's say, the up to sixty dollar price bracket, which are kind of the usual go tos or, or or worthwhile. I just recently did a review where I had another IEM that was just launched, the Letty Selmira, uh, which is also kind of price more, more or less within that price range a little bit cheaper uh, so I, I didn't want to go and do another mega comparison and have a whole bunch of IEMs here so what did I what did I select I selected the Pula PA01 which is basically the same price as well uh, and I selected because it is and it has become one IEM that I think stands out enough among 
the, uh, the, the, the IM, the dead price bracket. Um, I've got here the, the EW200, which is actually the cheapest out of this. But the EW200 is here precisely because it is an IM that uh, hits above its price its price point. You can now pick this up for like thirty five dollars. So that, that's that's pretty quite that, you know that's pretty interesting. Um, and then I've got you on this side the EPZ the Q5, which again I think is an IEM that you know was clouded with a whole bunch of issues. Oh, because the shell looks like Le Meze and this and that and blah 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 blah. You know what? It plays well. That's all I care. Um, we already know Chai Fi uh, has a lot of. Um, uh, imitation so uh, what, what if the shell does look similar well, you know it's well built plays fantastic so that's it these are some of the IMs that I usually uh, recommend when I get to, you know requested of a, for a good single DD um, what what do I think of course there are many others a T2 DLC is an IM which I think is a, is an absolute beast but <clears throat> you know just hasn't gotten as much love um, but these these three definitely are three IMs that I I like, I appreciate, uh, and I thought what would make sense. Two of them have got a similar style of tuning, which is the EW200 and the Q5, and the other two, the Pula and the Keyfine, um, the Delchi, they have again a, 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 a particular nuance to their tuning. Um, the Delchi and the Pula are slightly warmer, a little bit more full. And, and organic, you could say, while the EW200 and the uh, EQ5 are a little bit more uh, clinical, a little bit more um, f filled with twinklies and sparklies up top. Now, uh, there's pluses and minuses associated with all that. Again, you know, your hearing ability, uh, what style of music you like, all of these things are factors which are, are always um, uh, relevant or, 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 and that should be taken into account. I mean, uh, if you are like me, uh, really a uh, middle-aged man, maybe my hearing is definitely not what it used to be, but it's still decent enough for me to be able to confidently give um, solid opinions. Um, so I, I don't really uh, have any issues with uh, saying what I say because I know I can say it with confidence. Um, but if you are a younger, in the, a younger, a younger gentleman or, or, or a younger lady, um, yes, maybe the, the you know two of these IEMs, namely the, the EW two hundred and the, the Q five, could be a little bit um, uh, overly energetic at times. Um, again, this is an issue that can be easily solved either by a more diligent uh, selection of tips, uh, or then a nicer warmer, or you using a warmer source, or then even if you want to do a little small retune, which is very simple to do on either one of them. Uh, I've actually tried it, and it, 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 it's very very, very easy to do. Uh, <coughs> my apologies. Um, with regards to the sources, um, I, I've opted for, for the, 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 the CS43198. I use the EPZ, the TP50. Um, the more I use it, the more I appreciate how good it actually really is. I use the CDAM2 from Colorfly and I use their full just knowing that. I mainly stuck to these three. Uh, I've got a few others, but I just, I, you know, I didn't want to make it too confusing. I keep it with these ones. If, however, any of you want me to maybe hook it up to another different dongle deck, I, I can do it. No, it's not a problem. Okay, let's get straight into the sound and, and, and get this uh, review done with. Uh, I'll say straight away, definitely a wreck. Why? Because although it's got a warmer sound, that warmer sound does not come at the cost of it losing detail, of it losing any sort of, of, of ability to be uh, technically capable or, 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 or the in being muffled or not, uh, you know, uh, being correct with, uh, with what you want to listen to. At least with my music list, I didn't have any issues. Be it, be it things from like Tiki Taka, which is uh, kind of like a more hip hop kind of thing, uh, to be it uh, Losing My Way from FKJ, or um, uh, let's see again, yeah, uh, The Walk from Tin Liquor, which is a, an EDM song, or be it uh, Tell Me from Tin Liquor again, another EDM song, or be it uh, something uh, a little bit more, um, more relaxed, uh, like um, The Ladies Not Amused from Jeff Cascaro. The Delchi was and is, in my opinion, a very versatile sounding IM. Uh, there are songs like Up and Up from Jeff Ryan were in, on the EW and on the, on the Q5. Maybe they can sound a little bit too intense. Maybe uh, the, the, the presentation that, they can, that comes across in these two IMs can sometimes be perceived as being just a, a little bit pushed or a little bit uh, uh, colored to a certain extent. Uh, while on the, on the Delchi and on the Puller, that, that presentation of that song is more organic. It's more, 
I'm not going to say realistic, but it's more, it's more old school. Okay, so uh, that takes me to the next point, which is this is not uh, oh the the Delchi is better than the EW or it's worse or or better than the Puller or wor no, the Delchi is for uh, those of you that appreciate a warmer sound. Those of you that, for example, did like the EW two hundred in terms of its bass and its mids, but thought that the upper mids and the, the treble was perhaps just a little bit over uh, energetic, the same situation with the Q5, or that maybe, you know, you liked the the, 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 the puller as well, you think the puller is, meets your expectations in terms of sound, but you wanted to, just a little bit extra more polish in the way that it, it comes across. And that's exactly what the Delchi, in my opinion, delivers. It delivers a sound which is, like I said, very similar, very, very similar to the, to the puller PA01. Actually, when I, oh, and I'll show you the graphs now in a, in a couple of seconds, you'll see exactly what I mean. But it does it with just that little bit extra refine, uh, the refinement, sorry. Uh, again, and, and, and guys, uh, trust me, this is not an easy, uh, this is not an easy um, thing to do to convey so many, to convey a, an opinion about so many IMs that when uh, so many of them are very, very similar. Um, there are differences that you will pick up on them. Uh, some differences I picked up as positive, some differences I picked up as being slightly inferior. But the reality is any one of these four IEMs is excellent in the way it sounds. It plays very well and it's now down to what you want. You want a more clinical, more, uh, more, more uh, I'm not going to say cold, but let's consider it a more cold presentation. Then you go for the EW200 or you go for the, the Q5. And again, cold with a grain of salt because I think both of them are fantastic the ew200 is not um having the, the 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 merit that it's been having because it's just no it, it's 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 deserved um, if you want a warmer more old school kind of presentation then you go for something like the puller or the delchi although personally personally if i had to choose between the two i'd go for the delchi i just found it to be ever so little bit more refined ever so little bit more elegant than the puller and again, let me repeat this: the differences are minor, very minor. I just, I just, I just liked more. I like the fact as well that it's got the metal shell, and the metal shell. Trust me, uh, there are slight differences that I think can sometimes be positive and negative. Using a resin shell again has its advantages and its negatives. Um, you know, it's 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 a it's a topic that can be open to a lot of debate. But there are differences from using one type of shell and using another type of shell. There are slight, very differences that are noticeable in terms of the tonality and the timbre. Um, bass, very nicely executed, no bleed, nothing. It just blends effortlessly with the mids. Very nice execution of the mids, both male and female vocals, nothing to be said. The timbre and the tonality are, for me, on point, perfect. Again, nothing that I can critique in that aspect. In terms of its upper mids and treble, very nice. There's no harshness, there's no sibilance, no nothing. Something that can sometimes, not sibilance, but sometimes you can notice that area, at least I do, of 5, 6K on the EW on the, and on the Q5 can be a little bit more energetic. On the Delta, I don't have an issue. And, and that's why, for example, the EW and the Q5 are IMs that would require a little bit more tip rolling, while on, on the on the Delta, it was basically, okay, hey, this works perfect. I'm not even going to bother, okay? Um, in terms of its technicalities, uh, yes, detailed retrieval is maybe a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit behind the EW200 and the Q5, uh, but uh, in terms of sound stage, in terms of, of imaging, in terms of, of its, 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 refined, its refinement in, in resolving complex tracks, I found it to be on par. Uh, it's just that there's just a little extra bit of twinklies and sparklies on these two. Um, so uh, th th that's basically it. Like, there's really not much more that I can say. It's a well-built IEM. It's, it's got decent accessories. It's got a very competitive price. Uh, it's got a good quality driver in, 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 in its application. The driver that's being used is a good quality driver. It's got a very nice tuning. And overall, overall, the sound that is given is a warmer, more organic, more old school type of sound, which has got a lot of class associated with it. There are some IEMs that, uh, um, that 
do that or do, that go down that road that that prefer to go down that more old school type of tuning but then because of the quality of the driver the things like the bass maybe sometimes come across a little bit slower than, than what than what they should uh, you know it's it just it, it, it hits the, the and, and, and lingers so there's a, a longer time of decay and you can see that or rather you can listen that in the Delchi, all of these little details have been carefully taken into account, and it sounds truly, truly good. All right. Anyway, guys, I'll show you now quickly the um, the graphs, and we'll wrap it up. Hi, guys. Well, uh, this is the graph section now here for the uh, um, uh, Keyfine Delchi. Let me just leave the Keyfine on there. So this is the puller. This is the EW two hundred. This is the EPZ. So this is the Delchi, at least the set that I have. Uh, a nice, nice sub bass focus. Um, I mean, it's flat by 200 hertz. Nothing really that it can be pointed. It's got a very, very smooth type of um, of pin again. This this kind of um, has a sound which can be uh, very, uh, very. It can it can remind us a lot of the RT. Uh, if you if you guys have the RT R2. This has got that sort of vibe of sound going, but it's just a little bit more refined, a little bit more upgraded. That's that's that. I think that's a, a good way of uh, positioning as well the the Delchi for those of you uh, that uh, want to understand what what the Delchi is about. So very nicely, uh, you know, the, the the way that the mids, upper mids, and treble is done is very nice. It's 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 really really nice. We're talking about a pin again of roughly 8 dBs uh, and then the focus of the bass is mainly the, the, the chunk of that emphasis on the bass is uh, below 90 hertz more or less uh, but up from 90 to 6 kilohertz and a little bit higher even everything sits within a, a 7 8 dB window so nicely tuned really nicely tuned it doesn't even come across in my opinion as uh, being uh, v-shaped or anything of the sort okay so now compared to the things that I selected here, compared to the PA01, which is the other IM, which I think kind of shares a lot of the similarities. Uh, um, it's got you notice that the PA01 has got a, um, what seems to be a little bit more emphasis on the sub bass because it just just it's just a little bit behind in terms of its of its mid bass slam. Okay, uh, it's got a little bit more energy there in that upper mid and treble area. Coupled to that less uh, bass, you would think that the difference would be more significant, but no, it's a subtle difference. But it's still the 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 the, the sound is still on, let's say, not a warm warm, but a warm sound. Okay, while the the Delchi will be a warm warm sound. If I'm if I'm trying to kind of um, grade things in a way that's easier to understand, what the puller does have a little bit um, over the the Delchi is. Yes, the, 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 the sound stage and imaging are, 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 very, are very equal, but there are more times where it, there is a sensation of the of the pulley being just slightly more spacious than the Delchi, okay? The differences are not big, but a little bit more spacious, and coupled to the fact it's also got just a little bit extra more detail retrieval, very, very, I mean, very minor, but overall, overall, the, this, my preference, my preference, if I was to choose between the two of them, I would be very happy with either, mind you, but I would probably go with the Delchi. I, 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 there's, there's just something about the, 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 the elegance of the Delchi's presentation that I, I just, it just appealed to me very much, okay? Compared to now the, the SimGot EW200. This is the SimGot EW200. Let me take away yeah, the, the and, and as you can see, uh, the SimGot um, does see well it does have less bass at least uh, the, the 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 ratio between bass and mids is is more favoring the the mids and 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 and, and upper mids presentation so therefore that that more more twinkly and sparkly sound but uh, it's actually quite interesting because it did, it's also using a very high quality driver the bass slam that is present on the ew200 is not that much less than what you would think by looking at it graphically graphically okay uh, you do notice yes that it's a, it's a, it's a more brighter more more clinical sounding i am that's that's noticeable and then finally here the the q5 from epz very much the same situation as the as the ew200 so a more brighter more clinical presentation uh, technically just a little bit edging out the 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 the, the, the Delchi, but it's at the, at the, at the price or at the cost of it being 
slightly more colored, not as organic, not as old school, not as, um, um, I'm, I'm trying to find you the best words, but I, I think uh, uh, you guys are understanding. The Delci is a detailed kind of old school presentation done with a lot of elegance, a lot of, of class in, in the way that it conveys its, its production of music, well, at least my music. Um, and there you have it, guys. I hope um, I was able to paint a, a clear enough picture here on the on the, on the Delci. Um, I wreck it, obviously, I do wreck it. If you haven't got any IM, yes, this is definitely an IM that I would say, go for it, you, you, you won't regret it. If you have any one of the other IMs that I just mentioned, do I think it's worthwhile buying? Look, honestly, no, because you are going to be having something that will be better in certain aspects here and there, but overall, there isn't enough to go and justify buying another IM that in essence is very much the same sort of thing, okay? However, however, having said that, if you already have an EW200, or if you have a Q5, or if you have a, a more clinical, a more brighter sounding uh, style of, of, of tuning at this price range, and you are wanting to have now something which is a little bit more old school, a little bit more organic, and if you can pick it up, like I said, at, with a, at a good price, definitely the Delch is, is worthwhile considering, without a doubt, okay? If you're wanting to have, let's say, the versatility of both styles of tuning, okay? Guys, as always, like and subscribe. If there's anything that you want me to, to uh, compare further, no, please let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to answer questions as, as quickly as I possibly can. You take care now. Bye-bye.